Hi guys and welcome back to Is It Worth It Reviews. Today we are going to talk about a portable deck Aune Yuki. It's as you can see white and rectangular and it has a cool looking window that shows you like a PCB board that is, I don't know, SMD components, but there is some cool coloring in there and it just looks nice. If it was produced by Apple and had Pro in its name, everybody would be drooling over it. But it's not, it's produced by Aune and it's priced 169, which is, well, I cannot tell you if that's a lot or not before we actually test it and see how it performs, because yeah, that's how we determine if something is worth its price or not. But what I can tell you is that this is like your typical dongle. There is one USB-C digital input and I hooked this one to my phone. It worked immediately, no drivers needed or anything. There's uh, this adapter that will let you hook it to your PC. Once again, with my Windows 10, it required no drivers. It just worked as God intended. Well, in this case, Aune engineers intended it. The deck itself uh, doesn't have any lights. It doesn't light up when you connect it to a device. And I kind of like that. It just plays dead. No RGB, no effects, no anything. It's just like in the olden times, when we used to play with rocks. But what this deck does have is two analog outputs. One is single-ended 3.5 millimeters. The other one is balanced 4.4 millimeters pentacon. And this one is truly balanced. Uh, which also means it has twice the power of the single-ended ones. Well, almost twice the power, because, you know, balanced connection uses two signals, positive and negative, instead of just one, so they could use double the amplifiers compared to the single-ended outputs. That's not really interesting, but if you can utilize that single-ended output, use it. It will uh, sound slightly better and have slightly more power and control. If not, single-ended still sounds pretty darn good. And uh, last thing to mention is two buttons on the back, which are dedicated to volume increase and decrease. And in this case, we have a dedicated hardware volume control, which is uh, fully independent from your operating system, like Android or Windows or something like that. You control software volume there, and you have a separate hardware volume here. And that's how we prefer it. Aone Yuki is one of those decks that sounds very fast, precise, and has plenty of details that it can retrieve from any recording. It has very strong upper frequencies presence, meaning upper mid-range and really well extended highs. Because of that, everything sounds airy and just open and bright. And lower frequencies sound similar in a way. So baseline is present, there is decent punch there, but it's not full, warm and massive. Instead, it's speedy and uh, just well controlled and precise. You can call it grippy if you want. Choose your adjective adventure. But you get the gist. We are talking about that kind of sound that is tonally quite neutral, very open, fast and precise. But we are not talking about much warmth or full massive bass line of any sort. Tonality aside, the sound staging, thanks to that airiness and good high frequency extension, sound staging is really nice too. It does sound very open and very nice. Dynamics, especially microdynamics, are good. This deck sounds snappy and it's quick to start and stop and it, it just sounds very lively. And instead of talking for hours how it sounds and describing it, I realized that uh, it really does sound great and it might just be uh, one of the best decks at this price point. So I quickly went to compare it 
and for that I chose one DAC uh, that uh, costs roughly the same and it's currently my favorite DAC at that price point and that would be Moon River Moon Drop 2 Ti. Now if you haven't watched that review, TI version is noticeably improved compared to the original Moon River 2. It had more resolution, better, cleaner separation and more a sensation of space and better sound staging and I said it sounded not only better than Moon River 2 but also than Shanling UA5 that is slightly fuller, warmer but less resolving, a bit more muddy than Moon River 2 Ti. So having in mind that this is my favorite portable DAC uh, up to 300 US dollars and Hebe FC6 I believe and if Aune Yuki here can beat the current champion of that price range that would make Yuki the best portable DAC at that price point. And when I compare them directly, we cannot talk about any of these DACs beating the other one completely. So Moon River 2 Ti has slightly juicier tone. It has a little bit more present upper bass and lower mid-range and because of that there is the sensation of just fuller bodied notes a little bit and juicier tone like there is more lower frequency reverb happening around you and echoing around you. But when it comes to the upper mid-range, Yuki has more presence. It sounds crispier and crunchier. If we are talking about vocals, for example, male or female, doesn't matter really, Yuki will present vocals uh, with a better sensation of huskiness or raspiness. And uh, other tones that are not vocals will have better sense of texture. For example, wind instruments will sound a little bit more sandy and husky and textured with Yuki than they will with Moon River 2 Ti. But they will sound a bit fuller and juicier with Ti. Uh, but overall detail retrieval and just sound staging and dynamics and snappiness is very, very comparable. The only other difference that I noticed here is that Ti has a touch more power or at least a slightly higher gain. So you do have a bit more headroom if you like to listen to your music loudly but that's quite close too. And here I, I have to say something that I'm often repeating lately. Uh, battle between these two boils down mostly to your own preference. Do you like white or do you like metal finish? Both have uh, windows to SMD components and PCBs, so that's a non-issue. But more importantly, tonally speaking, do you like something with more upper mid-range and upper frequency presence and air and crunchiness, sandiness to the, to the sound and to the tone? Or do you like something a bit warmer and juicier that's uh, coming from the lower mid-range and the mid-bass and uh, has more reverbent kind of sound? but slightly less crispy and crunchy in these upper frequencies. And that will depend a lot on your personal taste. Or simply, what are you focusing at uh, currently while listening any certain song? I had situations where I thought I preferred one, but then few songs ahead I thought I preferred the other one. So they're really closely matched. That there is no way to choose uh, objectively better sounding deck here. But there is one thing that I think might be helpful for your decision. If you're having uh, headphones or earphones that are already bright, open and have that upper region's presence, like for example AKGs K701 or K702 or in-ears 7 Hz timeless, then adding uh, Yuki in the mix might make that sound too forward in the upper mid-range, 
too crispy and also too lean in the lower section. Moon River 2 Ti might be a better match in those cases. On the other hand, when I tested both of these with uh, Meze Classic 99, which are very juicy and bassy sounding, Aune Yuki here matched with those better. Uh, in my opinion and to my ears. It brought to the mix what these headphones truly needed. It brought some openness and crispiness and crunchiness and with uh, Moon River 2 Ti here, Meze sounded just more closed in, darker and they are already bassy and juicy plenty, so you don't need that. What you need with uh, those kind of headphones is something that is tight, controlled, grippy, airy, crispy and crunchy. And I'm all out of adjectives. But that does lead me to the conclusion. Aune Yuki here is really highly revealing sounding deck. It's really well performing deck. It goes head to head with my favorite up to 300 US dollars DAC at the moment, and that's Moon River 2 Ti. Neither of these is absolutely better. You would buy Aune Yuki if you want a little bit more of air and upper mid range presence and crunchiness in your sound. If that tonal character is not your thing, or it doesn't match well with your headphones or earphones that are already like that, that's okay. But if you like what you're hearing about how Aune Yuki sounds, or if you are having something like Meze Classic 99, I think that Aune Yuki would be a great match and very highly recommended deck. And that would be all for today, guys. Hope you like this video. See you next time. Bye.